The face of Adolf Hitler on the shoulders of a young kneeling boy stares out from a building in Warsaw. The statue by Italian artist Maurizio Catalan isn't new, but what many are shocked by is the location. This rundown old building is one of the few remaining from what was once the Warsaw Ghetto. Hundreds of thousands of Jews died here during World War II, confined by the occupying Nazis in squalid conditions. Little surprise that the work, entitled Him, has triggered such a strong reaction. It's shocking, just shocking. After all the suffering we endured, all that our parents told us about, to see Hitler kneeling here, I'm speechless. But the statue is visible only from behind, through a small opening in a wooden gate. The face isn't visible to the public. The Polish Centre for Contemporary Art, which is behind the installation, says it's not out to insult the Jewish community, but to explore the nature of evil. People think they know exactly what the fate of evil looks like, but Catalan's work suggests it's naive to think you can ever put evil to rest by filing it away in a drawer with a certain period of history. Maurizio Catalan's work hasn't gone unnoticed by Warsaw's Jewish community. The statue is close to the Jewish theater and Warsaw's synagogue. Poland's chief rabbi has expressed concern. When it comes to showing the figure of Hitler, we have an extra special responsibility to be sensitive to those who suffered and to place it right here on Pruszna Street and part of the old Warsaw Ghetto is lacking in that sensitivity. Challenging sensitivities is something Maurizio Catalan is known for. His other works have depicted Pope John Paul II being struck by a meteorite and a middle finger salute outside Milan's stock exchange.